Hi, 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 hello friends. Welcome to T Academy. In this video, I am going to discuss a previous paper of a TSSP DCL sub engineer examination paper. Right? So, here the questions are the first question Which of the following materials has the lowest temperature coefficient? So, lowest temperature coefficient means uh, the material which is having a low changes with respect to temperature rise here in its resistance so resistance low changes an av evaithe takku ga untayo vaatini kanukunnaru so answer for this question is it's a uh, it's a manganese so manganese having 0.000002 ante uh, temperature changes anamata coefficient anavi okay so constant will have a 0.0003 okay and the carbon will have minus 0.00 Zero 0.05 here. So among them lowest value will be manganese. So answer is manganese here. Next one, the unit of conductivity is. So conductivity is it's nothing but simply mo per meter. So conductance means Simmons. Conductivity means mo per meter here. Next question. Okay. What about the unit of resistivity? So resistivity is a unit entity. So it is ohm meter. Okay. So ohm meter. Now uh, suppose from this derivation, if you know this conductivity, so conductivity G is equal to 1 by rho. So 1 by ohm meter. So ohm ante reverse engineer is kochu manam mo karas kochu. So mo per meter meter sum. So answer is 2 here. So 2 answer is A. Next question. Two resistance, two resistors of 3 ohms and 5 ohms in parallel are connected to a supply of 15 volts okay if the 3 ohm resistor is short circuited then theoretically supply current is so here we have a 15 volt source and there is a 3 ohm resistor and there will be another 5 ohm resistor so you got 3 on the you got 5 on the you got supply voltage 15 volts on the right so you blame in that you know register short type in either is on the 3 ohms so 3 ohm short is a more than the then you value 0 <coughs> okay so in this r r equivalent is equal to r1 r2 by r1 plus r2 so r1 r2 into 0 into 5 divided by 0 plus 5 and 0 and a short circuit type of thing. so short circuit in a prime of the current theoretically infinity on the so current is theoretically infinity so short circuit condition current is going to be infinity theoretically right next one the equivalent quantity of conductivity in a magnetic circuit is so you can conductivity Okay, in a magnetic circuits, so conductivity is belongs to that is electrical circuits, electrical circuits, and uh, we are comparing with the magnetic circuits. So magnetic circuits look conductivity and the permeability ki samananga on the so conductivity in yes, the a material the conductivity equal on the then meaning in the so it is allowing that much of current okay, that much of free of electrons inside it. So similarly, permeability means the material which is allows the maximum number of flux lines so flux okay so cavity permeability is the right answer next one fifth question here a dc voltage source of 30 volts has an internal resistance of 2 ohms it's equivalent to a so a claim which are under question low manaku uh okay dc source each other so there's a dc source here like this and it is a having a series resistance so voltage source means it should be in series so 2 ohms ikkada icharu manaki ikkada 30 volts undi friends okay 30 volts undi ippudu deenni manam equivalent current source ga maarchali okay so current source ga maarchukovali so deenni em antaru ante manaku concept ekkada vachindi ante thevenin's equivalent ani deen cheppochu deenni norton's equivalent ani cheppochu okay so thevenin's to equivalent ela convert chestam ante ikkada current value kavali kabatti basic formula is v is equal to r into i i is nothing but v by r so v value anta 30 r value anta 2 so current anta 15 so 15 amperes current ikkada ite undi ikkada resistance value as it is 2 ohms untundi okay so 15 amperes of current is in parallel with 2 ohm resistor okay so deenni kuda manamu source transformation technique kuda cheppochu okay min chedukonu okay next one a conductor is at constant speed rotated in uniform magnetic field the emf induced is a maximum when the angle between the moment of conductor and the magnetic lines of force is so the basic formula is e is equal to so b l b l v into sin theta okay so when the theta value so theta value max you put out in the theta value monaco 90 in a blue so 90 in a blue 
సైన్ నైంటీ నైంటీ అనేది వన్ అవుతుంది సో కాబట్టి మ్యాక్సిమం వాల్యూ ఎప్పుడు వస్తుందంటే థీటా వాల్యూ అనేది నైంటీ అయినప్పుడు సైన్ నైంటీ ఏమవుతుంది వన్ అవుతుంది కాబట్టి మ్యాక్సిమం వాల్యూ అనేది నైంటీ డిగ్రీస్ దగ్గర వస్తుంది అనమాట సో నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఇంకొక సింపుల్ క్వశ్చన్ అడిగారు ఇన్ ఈ డిసి సర్క్యూట్ ఫోర్ బ్రాంచెస్ ఆర్ కనెక్టెడ్ టు ఎ నోడ్ సో ఫోర్ బ్రాంచెస్ అనేవి కనెక్ట్ చేసుకున్నారు ఒక నోడ్కి సో ఇట్స్ లెట్ మీట్ ఫోర్ బ్రాంచెస్ ఇవి రిజిస్టర్ కావచ్చు కెపాసిటర్ కావచ్చు ఇండక్టర్ కావచ్చు బీజేటీ కావచ్చు ఏదైనా కావచ్చు ఓకే ఇలా ఉన్నాయి ఇఫ్ ద కరెంట్స్ ఎంటరింగ్ త్రూ ద త్రీ బ్రాంచెస్ ఆర్ సో మూడు బ్రాంచెల్లో కరెంట్ వచ్చి ఒకటి యాంప్ త్రీ యాంప్స్ ఇంకొక దానిలో ఏమో వన్ యాంప్ ఇంకో దానిలో ఏమో మైనస్ టూ యాంప్స్ అనేవి వెళ్తున్నాయి వాట్ అబౌట్ ద అబ్సల్యూట్ వాల్యూ ఆఫ్ కరెంట్ లీవింగ్ ద ఫోర్త్ బ్రాంచ్ సో ఈ ఫోర్త్ బ్రాంచ్లో ఉన్నటువంటి కరెంట్ ఎంత అని అడిగారు సో ఇర్ రెస్పెక్టివ్ ఆఫ్ ది ఎలిమెంట్స్ ఆల్ జిబ్రిక్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ కరెంట్స్ అంటే నోడ్ ఈ జీరో జీరో సో అలా అప్పుడు ఏం చేస్తారు ఆల్ జిబ్రిక్ సమ్ అంటే త్రీ ప్లస్ వన్ మైనస్ టూ ఎంత అవుతుందండి సో ఫోర్ మైనస్ టూ మీన్స్ టూ యాంప్స్ సో ఆన్సర్ విల్ బి టూ యాంప్స్ ఓకే ఇక్కడే మీరు యూ కెన్ అప్లై కరెంట్ ఎంటరింగ్ షుడ్ బీ ఈక్వల్ టు కరెంట్ లీవింగ్ కాన్సెప్ట్ కూడా అప్లై చేసుకోవచ్చు సో చాయిస్ ఈస్ యువర్స్ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఇఫ్ ఏ separately excited dc generator running at 1500 rpm supplies 250 amperes at a 125 volts to a resistive load okay the efficiency of the generator is 90% then what is the value of the input torque so basic formula is that efficiency is efficiency is nothing but output power by input power so output power is given current is given voltage is given so 250 into 125 divided by input power is given సో ఇన్పుట్ జనరేటర్కి ఇన్పుట్ ఏమి వేస్తారు మెకానికల్ ఎనర్జీ ఇస్తారు సో స్పీడ్ ఇంటూ టార్క్ వస్తుంది సో ఇక్కడ టార్క్ ఇంటూ స్పీడ్ అది టూ పై ఎన్ బై సిక్స్టీ ఎందుకంటే ఇక్కడ ఇచ్చిన స్పీడ్ వచ్చి ఆర్పీఎం ఇచ్చారు సో మనకు రేడియస్ పర్ సెకండ్లో కావాలి కాబట్టి నేను సిక్స్టీతో డివైడ్ చేసుకున్నాను ఓకేనా సో సింప్లీ ఇప్పుడు ఎఫిషియన్సీ వాల్యూ ఎంత ఇచ్చారు జీరో పాయింట్ నైన్ నైంటీ పర్సెంట్ మీన్స్ జీరో పాయింట్ నైన్ సో ఇప్పుడు టార్క్ వాల్యూ ఏమవుతుందంటే ఓకే సో టూ ఫిఫ్టీ ఇంటూ వన్ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ డివైడెడ్ బై జీరో పాయింట్ నైన్ ఇంటూ టూ ఇంటూ పై ఇంటూ ఇక్కడ ఉన్నటువంటి స్పీడ్ ఎంత ఫిఫ్టీన్ హండ్రెడ్ డివైడెడ్ బై సిక్స్టీ సో సింప్లీగా సాల్వ్ చేశారంటే టూ ట్వంటీ పాయింట్ నైన్ వస్తుంది అప్రాక్సిమేట్లీ టూ ట్వంటీ వన్ ఈస్ ద ఆన్సర్ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఇన్ డీసీ సిరీస్ జనరేటర్ ఇఫ్ ద లోడ్ కరెంట్ ఇంక్రీజెస్ దెన్ ద వోల్టేజ్ డ్రాప్ అక్రాస్ ద ఫీల్డ్ వైండింగ్ రెసిస్టెన్స్ సో ఫస్ట్ టైం పోతుందంటే ఇన్ డీ సిరీస్ జనరేటర్లో లోడ్ రెసిస్టెన్స్ అనేది పెరిగే కొద్ది లోడ్ సారీ లోడ్ కరెంట్ పెరిగే కొద్ది వోల్టేజ్ డ్రాప్ అనేది ఫస్ట్ పెరుగుతుంది దాని తర్వాత ఏమవుతుందంటే వోల్టేజ్ డ్రాప్ పెరగడం వల్ల ఆర్మేచర్ యొక్క వోల్టేజ్ తగ్గిపోయి దెన్ డిక్రీస్ అవుతుంది సో ఆన్సర్ ఈస్ బీ హియర్ సో ఫస్ట్ ఇట్ విడ్ ఇంక్రీస్ లేటర్ ఇట్ విడ్ బి డిక్రీజ్ అస్ హియర్ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఇఫ్ ద ఫీల్డ్ వైనింగ్ ఆఫ్ ఎ టీసీ సిరీస్ మోటర్ ఇస్ ఓపెన్ సర్క్యూటెడ్ దెన్ సో ఫీల్డ్ వైనింగ్ ఒక డీ సర్క్యూస్ మోటర్లో ఇలా పెట్టుకున్నారనుకోండి ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ డీ సిరీస్ మోటర్లా ఉంది ఇక్కడ నుంచి ఒక సప్లై స్విచ్ ఇచ్చి ఇచ్చాననుకోండి ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఓకే సిరీస్ మోటర్ కాబట్టి సో ఎప్పుడైతే సప్లై ఫీల్డ్ వైనింగ్ ఎక్కడ ఓపెన్ అయినా స్విచ్ ఓపెన్ అయినా అయిపోతుంది ఆర్మేచర్ కరెంట్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు లైన్ కరెంట్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు వాట్ వీ కెన్ సే ఫీల్డ్ కరెంట్ ఇవన్నీ మూడు సమానంగా ఉంటాయి సో ఎప్పుడైతే ఇవి ఈక్వల్ టు జీరో అవుతాయి ఓపెన్ సర్క్యూట్ మీన్స్ జీరో వెన్ ద కరెంట్ ఇస్ జీరో ద మోటర్ ఈస్ ఇన్ జస్ట్ సింప్లీ లైక్ ఆఫ్ కండిషన్ స్విచ్ ఆఫ్ కండిషన్ సో స్విచ్ ఆఫ్ ఉండడం వల్ల మోటర్ తిరుగుతుందా తిరగదు సో స్పీడ్ విల్ బి జీరో సో ద మోటర్ ఈస్ ఇన్ స్విచ్ ఆఫ్ కండిషన్ సో దట్ దెర్ విల్ బి నో రన్నింగ్ ఆఫ్ ద మోటర్ హియర్ సో నెక్స్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ హియర్ డ్యూరింగ్ ద ఫీల్డ్ వీకనింగ్ ఆఫ్ ఎ సపరేట్లీ ఎక్సైడెడ్ డీసీ మోటర్ అట్ ఎ కాన్స్టెంట్ సప్లై వోల్టేజ్ సో we know the basic formula of the speed control of any machine any machine here so n is proportional to the eb back emf or simply we can say voltage by phi here i'm approximating eb with v here understand now if the eb or voltage is a constant then flux is there flux weakening means flux decreases so automatically speed is going to be increase here so speed increases the answer next one in a volt meter we say a voltage of 10 root 2 deflects by an angle 90 degrees where the deflection torque is proportional to the angle of deflection okay so here in order to make a confusion so they given a what deflection torque is proportional to angle of deflection both are same if the deflection is 45 degrees then the controlling torque is gravity control so in the gravity control here the torque is proportional to what or the voltage or current under the measurement quantity is proportional to sin theta right now then the reading will be so simple thing is let me take here the voltage reading
10 volts is the right answer here. So the concept here is a gravity control where the gravity control is proportional to sine theta, not proportional to theta here. Okay. Next one. A meter constant of one phase, single phase energy meter is a 600 revolutions per kilowatt hour. So 600 revolutions per kilowatt hour. If it makes the same number of revolutions in 1800 seconds, then the load is. So simple thing is 1 kilowatt hour means for 1 hour, how many seconds? How many seconds means for 1 hour it is a 3600 seconds. Okay, 3600 seconds. Now, if it makes the same number of revolutions, that means for 1 kilowatt it is making for 1 kilowatt the 3600. Okay, if the same number of revolutions in 1800 seconds, that means you are consuming more and more energy. Okay, you have observed in the uh, energy meter. When you switch on the fan, the, the disc will loaded slowly. Suppose you switch on with the TV, fridge, etc., etc., then disc what will happen? It's going to be load, I mean, loaded very fastly. So concept here. So when it is rotating very fastly to make the same number of revolutions, means here 3600 seconds, 1 kilowatt, it is going to be half. That means 1800 seconds means whatever the load, load will be 2 kilowatt. That means the disc is rotating very fast means the load will be very high. So simply 2000 watts. The range of dash can be increased by connecting a low resistance in with it. So understand the concept here. Here we have to mention the absorb the low resistance. If it is a high resistance, then we can say voltmeter in series. But low resistance means it should be ammeter. Why? Because ammeter is in parallel here. Okay. So parallel. If it is a high resistance means then you can interchange. Why sir? Why? Because suppose for example one ammeter is there, okay, you have to measure the current of some for example 5 amperes. Now the same meter you have to use for 10 amperes means you have to divert this 5 amperes here with the help of low resistance here. Understand the concept? So ammeter is in parallel. Okay, high resistance means in case in the same question asked for your examination, if it is a high resistance, then we can say it is a voltmeter and here will be series. Okay. Next one. On a CRO. To display an unknown waveform on the screen, the waveform to be fed to Y plates. So simply as you've seen in your laboratory, while you're doing your experiments in your lab, diploma lab, you have seen the CRO like this, where you have a blue uh, blue or yellow color, green color screen, screen will be here. And you have different types of knobs here. And here we have a, uh, what we can say, CRO probe will be there. Okay, so probe will be there. You have seen this different kinds of waveform like this in your CRO, right? If you see the X axis will be time scale, and y axis will be what your quantity has under measurement so for y plates what you're doing is to display the unknown waveform on the screen the waveform fed to y plates will be whatever the unknown waveform you want to measure so answer will be unknown waveform here next one a transducer having an internal impedance of one mega ohm and low resistance of one kilo ohm will act like a so answer for this question will be a constant current source remember friends here one important point so for a voltage source, the voltage source, the series impedance will be zero. For the voltmeter, the series impedance will be infinity. And similarly, for a current source, the parallel <coughs> impedance or parallel resistance will be infinity. For a current meter or ammeter, we can say the parallel impedance will be zero here, zero, zero, right? So these are the concepts here. So for a transducer having internal impedance, one mega ohm and a load resistance of one kilo will act as a so here the resistance is considered to be infinity here okay so it considered to be infinity so it is having current source infinity okay and resistance is one kilo when compared to this one mega ohm so it act as a constant current source here next one the internal resistance and the lead resistance of 400 millivolts thermocouple are 40 ohm and 10 ohm respectively okay if a dc a milli voltmeter having internal resistance of 100 ohms is connected then the reading of the output voltage will be so here what we are doing is first we will take 100 milli volts okay as a internal resistance and lead resistance of thermocouple and voltage is thermocouple of voltage is 100 milli volts minus so we are going to neglect the voltage drop here so 40 ohms and 10 ohms respectively means it belongs to what thermocouple so total how much resistance 50 ohms into Total supply voltage is 100 millivolts divided by so 50 plus 100 ohms here. Okay, so answer will be 66.67 millivolts here. Okay, 
Next one, the resistance Y axis versus the temperature X axis characteristics of a RTD is. So characteristics of a RTD is, uh, it is almost linear. So answer will be nearly linear, okay. Or we have another option, highly linear, highly linear, okay. So highly, highly linear, okay. Not perfectly linear, okay. So answer will be what it is A. Next one, the impedance of a, an AC circuit is given by Z is equal to 3 minus J2 ohms. The respective values of conductance and susceptance in more only. So first, what you will do is, for this kind of problem, don't take 1 by 3 minus 2 by 3, okay. So first, what you will do is, first take the impedance and you will convert in that impedance into its admittance. So 1 by Y, okay. So Y is equal to 1 by 3 minus J2 into I'll cross multiply with 3 plus J2 divided by 3 plus J2. So again simplify this then you will get the equivalent value of like this it has 3 plus J2 divided by we have 13. So now the conductance plus the susceptance. So conductance G is equal to 3 by 30. The susceptance okay. Susceptance is equal to it is 2 by 13 here. So answer will be what? It is 3 by 13, 2 by 13. So answer is C here. Okay. Now let's move to the next question of this paper. Right. So simple question is given. In a measurement of a three phase power by two watt meter method, if the difference of the two readings is one third of sum of the two readings, then the power factor is. So power factor we know the formula, right? So for that theta is equal to or we can say cos theta. So cos theta is equal to so cos of tan inversion of okay root 3 into into w2 minus w1 divided by w1 plus w2. Now the difference of the two readings is a one third of the sum of the two readings here. One third means what you can say so simply cos of tan inversion of okay so root 3 by 3 will get it so root 3 by 3 means simply you can say 1 by root 3 so it is going to be what tan inversion of root 3 means it's going to be 60 degrees so finally answer will be cos 60 so cos 60 means it's nothing but root 3 by 2 or you can say 0 0.8666 so answer will be what p here now next one if the current Flowing in a circuit is given by I is equal to 5 plus J3 amperes and supply voltage is given by V is equal to 5 minus J3 volts. Then the reactive power of the in VRS. So reactive power in VR, VRS. Okay. So here first of all we will take the S value. So S is nothing but V into I conjugate or I conjugate you can take. So V value is a 5 minus J3 into I conjugate means also 5 plus becomes 5 minus J3. Okay, so simplify this and you will get as a 34 minus J30. So answer will be C. Okay, so reactive power is nothing but 30, active power is 34. <coughs> so answer will be C here. Next one, the KV rating of the lagging power factor is shown in the figure that the to retain the same value of power factor with the leading angle, the additional rating of the capacitor here. So simple concept here. I will redraw the circuit again here. Here we have a 20 kVA and here we have 12 kilowatts are there. Now this will be what? This will be having some pattern or some power factor. Okay. To return the same value of the power factor with a leading angle. Okay. With a leading angle we need to calculate here. So first of all we will calculate this vertical part. What is this part here sir? So kVR to be added. So this will be kVR to be added here. So KVR should be equal to square root of, okay, so 20 whole square this part minus 12 whole square. So simply you will get it as a 16, okay, 16 KVR. Now this value will be what? 16 KVR. Now to make the power factor unity, we have to add 16. But to make the same power factor leading means again I have to add 16. So total how much you need? So 16 plus 16, 32. So answer will be 32 here. So 16 kVR if you add means the power factor will be what? It will be unity. But you want to leading power factor. So leading. 
so leading angle so leading angle means again you have to extra add 16 completely you have, have 32 so that you will get a leading power factor so first is a lagging again you have to add 0 to uh, to make 16 uh, to make uh, 0 it you have to add 16 okay next one In a step up transformer, the primary and secondary and their respective are same. So, in the primary and secondary windings, in a step up or it may be step down transformer, whatever it may be the transformer here, uh, the primary and secondary uh, frequencies and their respective KVA ratings are same. So, frequency and respective KVA ratings are same here. So, irrespective of the step up or step down, doesn't matter. Okay, 23rd, it will be answer is. C frequencies and KVS. The voltage regulation of a transformer can be zero at. So if you have seen the voltage regulation curve of this transformer like this, you will add it, and the voltage regulation will be zero at the leading power factor. So leading power factor will be the answer. If you have seen. Next one. Choose the correct statement. So choose the incorrect statement from the following figure here. So from the following uh, statement here. Okay, so same kind of question asked in the TSSPDCL uh, AE paper, right? Similar kind of question, not same question, similar kind of question as well. Okay, so I will tell the processor here. So, uh, without reading the answer, I am saying, so breather it will be there. So, for breather is connected to conservator and it is connected to bulkers relay and it, which is connected to main tank. So, these are the connection of the different parts of a transformer here so here the answer is bulk relay is connected between the breather and the conservator so this is a wrong statement so remaining all are correct statements only right next one a three phase two pole alternator runs at two four double zero rpm then the angular frequency is it's a simple question you can solve this easily so two four double zero rpm is equal to okay so 120 f by p from this we can find the value of f as 40 hs and you want angular frequency omega is nothing but 2 pi f is nothing but 40 into 2 into pi so 80 radians per second okay 80 pi radians per second answer will be b here <clears throat> and the next one if load is increased with the v curves of a synchronous motor shifts too so if you are increasing the load of your weak uh, of the v curve of a synchronous motor the motor curves will be like this so it is for no load and it is for the half load and it will be for full load like this it is increasing so that means as the load increases the current value increases so that the uh, the curve will be shift towards upside so answer will be c here next one the torque characteristic or the third angle torque angle characteristics of a three phase silent pole synchronous motor is a function of okay so let the formula here t is nothing but 60 by 2 pi ns into ev by xt into sine delta plus v square by 2 into sine 2 delta and 1 by x q minus 1 by xt here <coughs> so this is the formula here so if you are seen here it is having a sine delta and sine 2 delta so answer will be here it is a c okay sine delta and sine 2 delta so that will be the answer here next one the terminal voltage of an alternator increases with the load when the power factor is so when the power factor is leading so you know that an over excited synchronous motor okay so will deliver the reactive power so similarly the terminal voltage of the alternator increases with the load when the load power factor is a zero power factor leading here okay so we'll move to the next page of the solutions here and uh, right <laughs> next one if a slip of three phase induction motor is 0.08 the efficiency of the motor is so efficiency of the motor simple formula is shortcut formula 1 minus s okay so into 100 so it is going to be 1 minus s means s is nothing but 1 minus 0.08 into 100 will reduce rest to 92%. So answer will be equal to 92% here. 
so it equals to 92 percent here okay internal efficiency means uh, this is internal efficiency so almost it will be sorry it will be less than 90 percent here okay 92 percent or it should be less than 80 percent okay sir why can't it be equal to 80 percent so we have the internal efficiency is 92 percent means the overall efficiency will be lesser than this okay so answer will be 92 percent here right <clears throat> next one at rated speed of a three-phase double cage induction motor so we know that the double cage induction motor will have a two windings so that's what first one will be the uh, outer winding second will be inner winding like this okay so the inner winding will be used having a inner winding will have a low resistance low resistance and high value of reactance here okay so inner uh, the outer winding inner winding so this will be inner winding now we'll talk about the in uh, outer winding so outer winding will be having low value of reactance but high value of resistance here so as we know that the torque is proportional to resistance the outer winding will have a higher amount of resistance when compared to inner winding so that uh, the torque of the outer wedge will be have a high resistance so that the torque will be outer will be high inner will be less so simply you can ask the same question as a resistance of the outer winding and inner winding the resistance of the outer winding will be high and resistance of the inner winding will be low so like that you can ask <clears throat> next one simple question if a frequency of a rotor current of a three phase four pole 60 hertz induction motor is two hedges then they calculate the speed of the motor here so simple formula here it is i'll write the formula here you have given the slip here okay so first of all find the value of uh, ns value so ns is nothing but 120 and f f, f is nothing but 60 divided by how many poles 4 okay so it is going to be 1800 rpm now the basic formula slip you have given or slip is given what is the slip or i can say fr is equal to s into fs so what is this fr value okay that fr value will be what fr is nothing but total rotor frequency 2 is equal to so s value we don't know s will like fs nothing but how much 60 hs simply is nothing but s is equal to 1 by 30 now substitute the formula here that is the slip is equal to ns minus nr by ns so s value you know that is 1 by 30 ns value is nothing but 1800 is equal to 1800 minus nr value so from this simplification you can find the nr value as 1740 1740 rpm so simplify this you'll get the answer <clears throat> next one uh, in a single phase induction motor at a rated torque the ratio of the backward torque so backward torque to the forward torque okay it should be greater than one here so otherwise the single phase induction motor will not going to be self start here so answer will be b here next in a six pole 50 head single phase capacitor start and run induction motor the starting capacitor is disconnected when the supply is about so disconnect from the supply is about okay so answer will be for this question 960 rpm okay so why it is sir when the machine the starting capacitor is disconnected when the supply is about supply is about its rated speed okay so the supply is about rated speed here so what are the rated speed sir so ns is equal to 120 f by p same again same formula so 120 into frequency is 50 divided by uh, p value is how much 6 so 6162 that means it's going to be 1000 rpm so this is the speed of the magnetic field but not the rotor so nr we need to calculate here so for that what is the slip sir slip we don't know but assumption that slip should be equal to approximately 4% so as per this assumption if you are applying the four percent so slip same formula here which we discussed earlier here apply the same formula as a slip as a four percent or four by hundred is equal to ns is how much we know so how much it is thousand minus nr by uh, this will be thousand so substitute this you will get the answer as a 960 rpm here so answer will be a and the next move to the question 35 in a thermal power unit the electrostatic precipitator is connected to a high voltage of high voltage of zero frequency dc supply of 25 kilo volts to to absorb to attract the particles dust particles which are in the flue gases so this will be 
see here so 25 kilovolts is a dc supply answer next one the in a hydroelectric power station the power generated is proportional to so power generated is proportional to p is equal to eta the efficiency yeah, efficiency into rho into g into h into q this is what it's a product of specific weight of water and a discharge here okay next one choose the correct input output combination of air preheater in a thermal power plant if you have written the e examination similar kind of question asked there in the <coughs> E examination similar pattern not same question similar pattern so we have here observe we have air preheater here okay and we have economizer here economizer and we are allowing some fan uh, air here so force draft fan here okay and because of this four draft fan it is allowing some hot air here so hot air and the remaining air is going to be outside in the atmosphere by the help of id fan here okay so the input is a flue gases here and input is a fd fan and the output are hot air and it is an fd fan here like this now the correct input means the inputs are what are the inputs here so input is nothing but force draft fan and economizer with the flue gases here so both are input output will be hot air so answer is c here and the next question a fuse with a fuse wire is designed for a fusing current of 10 amperes if the diameter of the same fuse is doubled then the fusing element melts at an approximately current of we know that the current is proportional to so d q by 2 here so this is a relationship and from this relationship so i2 is equal to so i1 into so d2 by d1 to the power of 3 by 2 here okay now the diameter is doubled that means i1 into 2 d1 by d1 whole to the power of 3 by 2 so simplify this the i1 will be what 10 so 10 to the power of root 8 it can be simplified as 20 root 2 which is equal to 28.2 amps approximately so answer will be <coughs> a here okay so this is the 38th question and we will move to the 39th here so 39th question so basically annunciator relays so annunciator relays are nothing but they are the numerical relays so they are nothing but the numerical relays so answer is numerical relays here next one impedance relays so impedance relay is very important that is a voltage restraint over current relay voltage restraint over current relay right next one if the length of a overhead transmission line is increased by root two times the weight per unit length is decreased by 50 percent then the tension and tension between the supports is doubled the vertical sag will be so here there are three parameters that are asked in the examination so directly i'm writing the formula s is equal to omega l square by 8t so i'm expanding this formula as s2 by s1 is equal to w2 by w1 into so t uh, 1 will be t2 so t1 by t2 and here l2 square will by l1 square so this is the parameters and 1 by 8 1 by 8 gets cancelled 8 by 8 gets cancelled here substitute what are the values they given if the length of the overhead transmission increased by 2 times means l2 will be what root 2 times that of l1 so it's nothing but uh, simply i'll write 2 l1 square by l1 square into and the weight for the unit length is decreased by 50 percent so w2 will be what 0. 0.5 w2 w1 divided by w1 into tension between the supports is doubled that is this will be 2 divided by 2 t1 uh, sorry uh, 2 double t2 divided by sorry let me take here 2 t2 and here it will be t1 only right simply i'll write again so here t1 by t2 here so this 2 2 gets cancelled l1 square l1 square gets cancelled w1 w gets cancelled so it should be decreased by what decreased by 50 percent so answer will be d here okay I think I may be a little bit fast, but please try to cooperate. Okay. So as I have to cover this video, entire video in the one hour. Okay. That's why I'm going a little bit faster. If you are any doubts, just pause the video and uh, uh, review the question joint. In a symmetrical and a reciprocal transmission network, to choose the correct expression for regarding the ABCD parameters. So simple A D minus B C is equal to one. Okay. So you have to satisfy this A D minus B C, but here A C minus bd will be there so okay i have to uh, compare ad so ad would be what 
so ad both are equal means a square okay so minus b1 is equal to 1 then a is equal to 1 plus sorry bc here so bc bc and square root of here so answer will be a okay so when there is a a and d are equal so answer will be b here sorry b b next one which of the following increasing factors decrease corona losses so increasing factor decrease corona losses means it is a conductor diameter and <coughs> load current so answer will be c here in a hvdc system the corona losses and radio interference are less why because in HVD system in a homopolar link. So homopolar link, we are using the, we are using the positive conductor. Okay, positive conductor as a ground here. Okay. So that uh, the corona losses will be less here. Okay. So we are using the negative uh, conductor for the transmission of power and positive as a return conductor. So that the corona losses will be less here. So corona losses will be more in which conductor? It's in positive. That making we are that uh, conductor we are using as a return path here. Okay, right. Next. The sending end and receiving end voltage of transmission lines are same and per phase the impedance of the line will be 4 plus jx to get a maximum steady state power the transmitted in the over line will be so to get a maximum power in the transmission line so z is equal to so 2 times that of r value so simply 2 into 4 will be what 8 ohms here <clears throat> so how we got this are simply so z is equal to you have to take the value of x okay so first of all x will be what root 3 times that of r now substitute z is equal to square root of root 3 times that of r whole square plus r square so simply it's going to be 4 r square nothing but 2 r here so substitute the value here c will be z is equal to 8 ohms here next one hamlet type insulator is also called as it's also called as an interlinking type insulator here okay next one Choose the correct order of three different layers from the outer surface of the underground cable. Okay, so this will be underground cable question here. So outer surface means first will be armoring, after that bedding, after that lead sheet. So armoring is used to protect the uh, cable and bedding is used for not allowing the moisture content into the lead sheet and lead sheet will act as a insulating material for the, uh, sorry, if you do not allow the uh, moisture content into the cable paper or insulation so answer will be a here right in a single phase transmission line with a sending end voltage of 1000 volts has an inductive reactance of 10 ohms if it is fully composited by a variable capacitance reactance of the load then the what will be the maximum active power delivered so maximum active power delivered is equal to p is equal to ev by x here okay so the line is compensated and it having a reactance of 10 ohms that means it is going to be 1000 volts into 1000 divided by 10 so simply 100 kilowatts will be the answer <clears throat> okay so here the inductive reactance of the some value means here they have to mention 10 plus some jx value okay but uh, they simply represented the resistance value here friends understand the point what happened again they had a capacitance value so the 10 plus jxl minus jxc so this entire part is going to be 0 and remaining part will be here we have only 10. So that part you have to consider here. Suppose if you have taken uh, inductive and capacitive both are equal and means there will be 0 reactance. 0 means infinite power is possible. But the options are not there. So that you have to consider the resistance value as at 10 ohms here. And understand? Next one. In a traction system the service is said to be sub-urban services if. So in case of a mainline services, in case of mainline services, free running period is there. In case of suburban services or urban services, the free running period is absent. Okay, you have, see, you have traveled in uh, MMTS and uh, metro, rails, uh, metro rails, where you have seen the free running period is less. Why? Because the distance between the two stations are very less. Okay, and the coasting period is long. Okay, coasting period is long means applying the brakes. Okay, so applying the braking period <coughs> without supply. Next one, in an electric train, 100 seconds of actual time of run and a stop time of 30 seconds, then the ratio of the average speed to scheduled speed is. The ratio, ratio of the average speed, so average speed to scheduled speed will be equal to the total run time plus stop time divided by total run time. Okay, so what is the run time? So run time of 100 seconds of actual run time, 100 plus 30 
divided by runtime is what 100 m okay so okay what it will be so 130 by 100 is nothing but 1.30 so answer will be d here next one if the supply voltage and the delta is the phase angle of dielectric then the dielectric losses in dielectric heating is proportional to so p is proportional to k into epsilon naught into uh, tan delta here so tan delta into f into v square so this will be what tan delta right here again here tan delta so v square into tan delta will be the answer here so b next one in induction heating the depth of penetration of induced current into the disc is proportional to rho is a specific resistance of the melting charge and f is a frequency of supply is proportional to answer will be f by square root of rho here next one in illumination engineering the maintenance factor is also called as the it is also known as depreciation factor so maintenance means you have to maintain the some reductions or wear and tear in that uh, equipments so that is also known as a depreciation factor here next one if the source of light is a hung at a height h from the horizontal surfaces and makes an angle theta with a h then the illumination on the plane surface is proportional to is nothing but cos cube by h square so we have seen this inverse uh, cosine law okay there are two laws present in the illumination engineering that you have to read carefully right next one the speed of three phase 50 hertz multipole induction motor is controlled by three phase inverter during the trans uh, transition the motor will be in generation mode if so to make the motor will be in generation mode the slip should be what slip should be negative so in order to make the negative okay so if the frequency decreases means what will happen so ns will be decreases so as the ns decreases nr it will improve a little bit so s is equal to ns minus nr by ns here so if you are decreasing the frequency this ns will decrease and slip will be negative so that the system or machine will be in the generation mode here <clears throat> now next question the power consumed by dc motor from the supply during the counter current breaking and the dynamic breaking so dynamic breaking the current will be what so current will be zero and the counter current breaking is it will be negative so we can also call this a plugging so plugging okay. answer will be negative and zero here so dynamic breaking means you have to applying resistance breaks next one the speed of the fall uh, which of the following plots represent the speed or characteristics of a three-phase synchronous motor with the damper windings so damper windings are there to maintain the speed constant so ns should be what it should be constant value so as it is a constant value irrespective of torque so we are talking about a three-phase synchronous motor synchronous motor only runs at synchronous speed so speed will be constant irrespective of the torque here so option will be so b will be the right option here okay next one in the ohmic region of the output characteristics of a power mosfet as vgs increases then the drain resistance so drain resistance is going to be what decreases here so answer will be decreases here why because sir uh, if you have seen the characteristics here it's going to be more like this okay so this part current part increases current will increase means resistance annually decreases here so answer will be decreases here next one what is the value of the current in the following circuit if the zener voltage of the diode is 30 volts so simple concept here 30 volts here plus or minus 30 volts if you want to find the current here is any possible of current here oh, because the anode is anode is negative with respect to positive means this zener diode will be in the reverse okay but what about the voltage here equal voltage will be current will be zero so equal voltages so current will be zero <coughs> Which of the following BJD configurations the voltage gain is more than unity? So answer will be C B and C C. So C B and C. So for C C, for C C it is less than unity. Okay. So for C B and C, it will be more than unity. Next one. The conduction angle of a class C amplifier is so equal to 360, equal to 180, more than 180, and less than 360 and less than 180. So for class C amplifier, it is less than 180. For class A amplifier, it is equal to 360, and class B amplifier, it is 180, and for class A B amplifier, it is between 180 and 360. Okay, so answer is C. Next one, an example of RC oscillator. 
So example of the options are Hartley, Colpitts, Relaxation, and Wainbridge oscillators. So in Wainbridge oscillator, we are going to use three combinations of RC circuit. Each combination will give you of 60 degrees phase shift. So that we'll have a three into 60, we'll have a 180 degrees phase shift. So 180 phase shift with an amplifier 180, we'll get a positive feedback here in oscillators. Okay, next one. And FET based cascade amplifier is a series combination of order of two stages. That will be what a common source and a common gate. Okay, for any 8 bit 2 complement number, the range is okay. The range will be minus 188 to 127. So it will be in the range of 2 power 7. Okay, but here. Uh, 2 power 7 means what 128 will be there so 0 to we'll talk about 127 but from the negative sequence if you are considering that is that will be minus 1 to minus 128 so okay so ranges will be from 0 to 127 positive value to negative value 128 here next one in a single phase 50 hertz full bridge rectifier a pair of diagonally opposite devices short circuited then the supply frequency is about okay so when there are diagonally elements are there, so we have a resist diodes like this oh, and we have, here we have a diodes like this. So diagonal elements are short circuited means here, here will be the output and here we have supply. Okay, supply will be Vs here like this. Diagonal elements are shorted means like this. Okay, so these are shorted like this means we will get the same output voltage. Okay, the same output voltage. Whatever the supply frequency is there, the same supply frequency will be appear here. Next one, the number of voltage intervals of an 8-bit resolution unlocked digital converter is. Okay, so it will have a 256. Okay, so it will have a 256, 2 power 8 is equal to 256 resolutions here. Voltage levels. Next one, the speed of a 3-phase induction motor is controlled by 3-phase AC voltage controller if the firing angle is increased. So firing angle is increased means what will happen? So firing angle means voltage is going to be decreases, but the slip or the maximum torque remains same. So answer will be D here. Next one. A single phase full converter fed separately as a DC motor runs at 866 RPM. If it is fed from a three phase full converter with the same peak phase voltage, firing angle and the low torque is same. So what is the speed of the motor here? So neglecting the resistance drop. So answer for this question will be double to five zero RPM. Okay, so next, please correct the, sorry, uh, pick a correct choice from the following regarding CSA effect three phase AC motor. So options are there, regeneration is easily possible, regeneration is not possible, suitable for multi-motor drives, inverter requires feedback diodes. So answer is, uh, Rest, uh, regeneration is easily possible here. So answer is A. Next one. The field of a 200 RPM separately exited DC motor is controlled by a chopper. If the duty cycle of the chopper is increased 50%, then the speed of the motor will be. Okay. So here we are increasing this, increasing by 50%. It's not 50%, it's increased 50% means already will be 100% is there and you are going to add another 50% here. Okay. So the basic formula is E2 by E1 is equal to N2 by N1. Now what we need to find is N2 value. So N2 is there. So N2 will be equal to basic speed is 1200 RPM into 1.5. E2 will be 50% increase means 1.5 divided by E1 will be what? Uh, 1200. Sorry. Uh, this one will be N2 will be into N1 is there. So what is the E1 value? So E1 will be 1 year. So 1201.5 will get answer as a 1800 rpm next one a single phase ac supply of 200 volts rms is fed from a semi converter if it is fired at an angle of pi by 2 the appropriate instantaneous value of the voltage at this angle is okay so here when you are firing with a pi by 2 angle means sinusoidal waveform so sinusoidal waveform will have a maximum value of what pi by 2 <clears throat> at this instant what is the maximum value so it is nothing but Vm. So Vm. Okay. So Vm is nothing but it is root 2 times set of Vrms value. So Vrm is called Vm by root 2. That's a column. So root 2 into 200 
1.414 into 200 you will get answer as a 283 volts here so answer will be 283 and next question at a fixed frequency the per unit ripple of a type a chopper with the rl load increases when the duty cycle is so duty cycle should be greater than 0 0.5 so choose among the answers any answer so 1.5 will not be uh, 1.5 0 0.5 will be here and this will be 0 0.33 okay the other are two options are possible one at ripple is one means it is going to be zero so this is not the option so option suitable option will be d here <clears throat> it is 2 by 3 now if the load current of a single phase semi converter is fed with rl load is found to be pure dc current then the supply side is so whenever there is a rl load is there and it is found to be pure dc means the uh, pure dc means then the supply side is the supply side will be voltage is ac and current is also ac only okay next one a single phase voltage of V equal to 173 sin omega t half wave converter is fed to a resistive load. If the SR is fired at angle 90 degrees, what is the peak value of the voltage across the SCR during conduction? So SCR during conduction means the voltage will be 0 volts here. The voltage will be 0 volts. But what will be the peak voltage across the load means? So peak voltage across the load means Vm. So peak voltage across the load is Vm. But here in the given options, the peak voltage across the SCR during conduction means during the conduction SCR acts like a short circuit. So voltage will be 0 volts. But question may be here wrong here somewhere it says. Uh, what is the value of peak voltage across the load means? Then will be answer will be 173 volts here. Next one. An 8051 microcontroller has. So 8051 microcontroller has 8 bit address bus and 16 bit address bus or 16 bit address bus and 16 bit data bus. 16 bit address bus and 8 bit data bus answer will be 8 bit address bus and 8 bit data bus here the number of ports of 8051 microcontrollers are so there are four ports are there the current rating of a standard 3 by 20 wire is so it is 15 amperes for 7 by 22 it will be 20 amperes for 7 by 20 it will be 28 amperes and for 3 by 22 it will be 10 amperes and 3 by 20 it will have 15 amperes <clears throat> the symbol here it is in a logic program plc indicates so it indicates that normally inactive coil of rank output so answer will be b here next one the technical name of a two way switch is the two way switch is single pole double throw switch single pole double throw switch generally we use the two way switch in case of in a uh, washrooms or bathrooms we can use why because uh, we have to turn on and off from the inside and outside okay so we can use a multiple is sp uh, switch so we have when you are doing the experiments lab experiments in especially in case of a machines so we have used a double pole double throw switch are there okay so double pole means we have plus minus and double throw means either you can move topward either you can go bottom so you can change the interest switches here Okay, so double pole single through switch also same. Next one in a ceiling fan wiring diagram, the capacitor is connected in. Okay, so in a ceiling fan ceiling fan wiring diagram, the capacitor is connected in series with the starting winding. So whenever the motor started at its rated speed and out reached its rated, rated speed, automatically the capacitor is going to be disconnected. Okay, disconnected and the motor is going to be run as usually. Okay, so answer for this is B friends. Okay, so thanks for watching this video. If you like the video, please share with your friends and all the best for your preparation and examination. Thank you friends. Have a nice day.